Right, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome everybody. It is a friendly between Pittsburgh, Orpington, and Dundee City, and we will be joined by none other than uh, Peter Hornsby. Let's hope his sound is working. Good, good afternoon, good evening, Peter. <laughs> sure. Wow. <laughs> I'm I'm glad I'm glad you had to say that, not me. <laughs> uh you gotta you gotta love some of these names that people people have that you've got to announce. <laughs> Well, I mean, at least, at least, yeah. Well, I'm trying to figure out how many boards there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, maybe twelve boards. So twenty-four points. Uh, bottom boards look interesting. Whew. This is a tough lineup. I mean, look, Dundee City must be heavy favourites here. Must be heavy favourites. Um, but we know with, with online chess and with players playing, 
never really go by the rating because it's always a scary thought to do that. Um, but I'm gonna go Dundee by two. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be cautious today. I'm gonna go Dundee by two. So they're gonna they're gonna squeak it through, but they're gonna win by two points. <laughs> I think it's ten. <laughs> oh yes, you you do need the scorecard, huh? Okay, before there we go. <laughs> yeah, look, this is yeah, hundred percent, and 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 obviously this is the Sicilian Open. I have no idea what the Sicilian Open is. I was going to say E five was going to be played here, um, and it's actually if you look at it, it's a little bit of a reversed. Uh, what's that stupid thing, uh, Maroxi bind, where Black is putting this. Yeah, Black's putting the squeeze on D four. Knight C A three is 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 a little unique, and I'm assuming it's going to come to C two to help with the D four push. Um, and I get the impression if I was white, I would open up the center, get the rook to E one. You know that would be, you know, Knight C two, rook E one, D four. Let's 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 see what what happens. Um, black white does have a problem with the bishop on c1 so he's got two place pieces that aren't looking good wow bishop c4 was not the move i was expecting to see um and the reason why i wasn't expecting to see bishop c4 is i'm always worried about this loving pen on g4 with the e5 push that's always got to be a little scary if you are if you're white so um bishop c4 definitely was not a move i was expecting um but again black i mean does Black need to worry here? Does he can go Queen D8. He can go straight back. It's actually not such a bad thing to go all the way back. And then he can release his bishops and castles. So, you know, Black in this position, I would... Oh, I don't know about Queen D7. <laughs> um, mm, I don't know. Maybe Queen D7, there's some theory. Like, there must be a risk. No, hundred, hundred percent, ninety percent of them are. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, not you. What, what's the new word that people like? Looks a bit sus, doesn't it? <laughs> Isn't that the new buzzword? <laughs> yeah, nine G five does does seem to pose some problems here. Well, you can't stop it. It's not your move. <laughs> Oof, I don't know. Ninety five queen f three, and and you're looking you're looking down a shotgun. I think ninety. Well, yeah, ninety five. Ninety five definitely definitely has some merit into its its attack here. Um. Sure, not, uh, hence the reason Queen D7 did not look pretty. But okay, if he's going to play Bishop C4, surely Knight G5 would have been his, his thought process. 
But there it is, 925, there it is. It was obviously just a couple of minutes to to make sure that there was no sneaky sneakies. Um, sure, um, I'm not, <clears throat> I'm not so, well, well um, <laughs> 98, I mean, in all fairness, let's look at Black's position. Both these bishops are still at home. White's got three P, I'm going to play D4. I'm going to go, well, let's go D4. Let's see what you got. Because if I can if I can open the Z file up, I'm gonna be a happy man. That the only, the only reason why I like D four more is that it brings the bishop into the game. But okay, straight away rookie one and uh all right, you got bishop e7. The 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 e pawn is not looking pretty. I don't know. Oh, I'll th I'll change. Yeah. Well, let's let's go to board nine, which is gritty alien. Games gritty uh, gritty alien. All right. Okay. So gritty aliens put the scorecard back up. Gritty alien. That's interesting. <clears throat> so, so, so yeah, so yeah, we've got a Dutch that Black has played, and I think, I think, in all fairness, White's played this wrong. The bishop should have gone to a three. I think. Um, I don't know why this knight is on a five. As a Dutch player, I don't, I don't get the knight going to a five. Um, and just to just for all those Dutch players out there, when White plays G three, this B six line is bad. It's really really bad. There, there are, there is a, uh, I think it's called the classical Dutch that you've got to play, <clears throat> um, which puts White in a lot more danger than having this this diagonal bishop on on the line. And there's a uh, there's some serious serious uh, ideas with E six. E, uh, d6 e5 f5 queen e8 uh, knight f6 knight g5 bishop h3 um ideas around it so the the option for for black to go with the funny enough the bird dutch um it was not the right the right decision to be made here and now we can see he's got a few problems a the c pawn's now in trouble the knight on a5 is out of play White's got a very strong center. He can push d4 and e5, e4 when he wants to. Um, there's there's some some nasty weaknesses, you know, along the h5, a8, a6, uh, c8. Uh, as a Dutch player, as as proud as I am that he's played the bird variation, um, yeah, this is again. I would I would I would still side with White in this position. Um, as black has too many problems, this this c pawn is a big problem now. He's going to have to play queen e eight. I can't see him being anything else but queen d eight here, and that's going to pose problems because the knight on a five is still out of play, <clears throat> and white can do what he wants pretty much. Uh, e four. Yeah. Well, you see now. Now this is this is this is where I become.
Yes. Yeah. <laughs> What's his name? Aaron Bade. Uh, I don't see him yet. So let me just pull his game. Okay. Oh, that's Beast. No one Beast on Aaron Bade. There we go. All right. So what do we go to? No, black black is black is comfortable in this. I mean, again, um, you know, yes, he's got a pawn on f three, but he's got two center pawns, which are gonna love life. The B and the C, the B and the C pawn are in trouble. Uh, yeah. Yes, yeah. Uh, is black up here? One, two, three, four, five, six, five. Yeah, black is slightly up in this position. Um, white's got it all to do, and I don't see. I mean, yes, the rook. So this is the thing: the rook is on the seventh, right? But is it really doing anything under seven other than just keeping an eye on F F C? <coughs> Yeah, and I mean these these two pawns, the D and E pawns, can march down the board with with impunity. I mean, I don't see how you're going to stop the march. Um, oh, there he goes. There goes a pawn. The B pawn is gone. Yes, we lose the B pawn, but yeah, okay. Beast from the southeast. Oof. What was it? What was this? Oh, this is also another Sicilian. Well, I mean, interesting. Interesting enough, he's played g three and his bishop sitting on e two. Um, that's that's very very interesting, but I think maybe the idea was he's scared of rook takes knight, bishop takes, and then queen f h two mate. So maybe that's why g three was played. But that does put the bishop in a precarious position and weak squares around the king. Pity the knight is on b four. It would be nice if it was on f six. It would have had more uh, more meaning. I don't think black should swap queens here. I think black must hold his queen. But where? That is the question. Where do you hold it? Now you see, I still want, I still want to 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 have my queen on that h file. So I was looking at queen h three, knight g five, and then queen f five, which is not so bad. Oh, he traded. Oh, he traded. Oh wow. Oh wow, that that takes the sting out of the attack. Oh, you, you, you get, you get, yeah, you can play pawn takes, you can play pawn takes d5, pawn takes d5, rook takes d5, and he's got an active rook into the battle. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, there it is, pawn takes d5. <clears throat> and he's got to be careful. This knight can get trapped in this corner here if he's not too careful. Yeah, but if the let's say the bishop the bishop moves to c seven, for example, if he covers the b four square, the knight's going nowhere. Okay, so he's played. Yep. Everton, Ever, Everton, Egypt is the next one, I think. Okay. Wow. Oh. 
Don't takes rook takes rook e3 doesn't work. Oh yeah, rook e3, not rook e4. Rook e4 doesn't work. But rook e3 is interesting. But mm, this uh the Scandinavian is also it's one of the reasons I don't like the Scandinavian is you normally get these pawns and the king is a little exposed, which always is unpleasant. I think c3 c3 is coming in, yeah. The knight has to retreat. All right, and now do we have do we have rook f three here? Rook f three looks quite interesting. Oh, well that's very interesting. I did like rook e three. Oh, uh, ninety five. I see. Yes. Yeah, but I th I think rook f three rook f three is quite nice now. Or maybe, maybe, maybe queen d3 first, then rook, e, rook f3. Maybe that's, that's the way to go. I do, I do, I do like, I do like white's position. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, knight, 90, the 95 is still a nasty little, 95 is nasty. So... Can't we? Quietly, quietly one nil. Quietly one nil. I do like White's position though. Only the only problem with White's position is is the rook on a one can't get in. <clears throat> what about what about a, just a, a very simple move? Queen c two. Why can't we just play queen c two? Because that stops the idea that he can he can play e five here. Queen c2, yeah. Or, or queen e2, even. Queen e2 is even maybe even better, because then you've then then you do have rook f3. Well, he's going rook f3 first. Oof. Okay. Well, I'm assuming rook f. Sorry, 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 sorry. She's going rook f3. So maybe the idea is of queen e4, bishop d3. Oh wow, queen g5. Now that I. Mm. Interesting. Swapping queens. <laughs> no, no, it's it's just interesting because you know from queen g five, what where what what's it got? I know that the intention is to push f five. I get the intention is to push f five, but. You know, rook g3 sort of solves that problem, you know. Um, no, no, you can't play it. You can't play f5. But f5 is coming. Oh, yes. Oh, it's 1-1. One, 1-1. One, 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 bottom board. Gritty al... Grit, gritty... Yes. Grit, gritty alien. Yes. Yep, yep. Uh. Oh, we got a we got a sack here, and I don't think it works. Okay, he, he will pick up a rook for the bishop and the knight if he wants to, but I don't think it's enough. I think he's got this wrong. Oh wait, hang on, hold on, hold on. Pawn takes, bishop takes, rook. Oh, he can't play rook f three. The bishop's covering that square, so the rook can't get in. So we can't get any pieces into the game. And queen to g5, the king just goes to f8, and then when he goes h6, he just goes to e to e8, and the king's fine. 
I don't think the sack works. I mean, it's a lovely idea. I just don't think it works. Oh, he didn't take it. Oh, well, now, now, now it's mate. Knight h5. You'll have to play rook g8. Knight takes... Ooh, does knight take pawn work? Oh, oh, oh. What, how about this for a lovely idea? Oh, it doesn't work. Oh, it almost works. The idea was queen takes pawn, the pawn takes queen. Knight d knight e8, king moves, knight takes um, queen. But the bishop takes the bishop with the, with the check. So it doesn't quite work. Oh, but there's some, nice, there's some lovely little combos here. Wow, okay. Bishop takes Bishop takes Bishop. Wow. Wow. You know, I would have I would have really looked okay, but it doesn't it still doesn't work. But maybe it does no it doesn't. I would have played Bishop B two actually with the idea that if bishop goes to d7, then I can still play queen takes, pawn check, then pawn takes, then knight to d to e8 check, and I could pick up the queen. Yeah, white's white's trouble here now. Because that that knight's got that knight's got nowhere to go. Hit. Oh well, let's bring the queen in first, shall we? Let's not just bring rooks in. Let's bring queens in too. Yeah, I think I think bishop takes bishop was wrong there. I think bishop b two might have been the better, the better option. It definitely had more weight behind the the plan. All right, shall we go to Berkeley? Are you doing his second game apparently? Oh, two knight, two pieces versus a rook. Wow. As as Lauren's been practicing. <laughs> I mean, I normally come to his boards and he's always in a you know immense amount of trouble, but <laughs> Yeah. Oh, he's taken the win, yeah. He's taken the win. That's over. Beautiful. Well done, Lawrence. Oh, wait, we're getting into some serious time trouble here, Peter. We've got uh, Mara versus Puricat, board three. And we got 30, 40 seconds versus a minute. And all is even. Yep, all is even. With a trade of queens on the board. Oof, trade of queens. He has to trade queens. Andrea? Han. <laughs> Interesting. Oh wow. Look at this. This is this is intense right here, but this could be Oh, we stole that pawn. Okay. This is this is pure Queen Oh, we can't play Queen check. He's gotta watch out. He's gotta play Queen D two. That's the movie he's gotta play. Queen D two. Oh, is it? Oh, dear. Ooh. Are we gonna are we gonna get a queen d five check queen? Yeah, queen d five. If the king moves, it's gonna go to d eight check. He's gonna go for oh, he's gonna go for the oh oh the knight's got nowhere to go. That has got nowhere to go. Oh, there goes the knight. That's why, ladies and gentlemen. 
Knights on the Run mod dumb. <laughs> That is brilliantly well played. Okay, just, you've got, uh, oh, do you, do you take it and then take all the pawns? I think so. Maybe. Now he takes it. But sh Maybe. Uh, perfect. Now king takes pawn. He's got the outside pass pawn when he needs it. Oh, that was, oh, that's what he wanted to do, defend the. Come back, come back to your pawn. Oh, go with a check. Oh, this is over. It's over. Pura Cat swings it. Beautifully played by... Oh, I would have taken with the pawn. I definitely would have taken with the pawn. All right, let's go to Verna. Let's go... Oh. Here we go. 13 seconds versus... Yeah, it's close. It's close. 4-3. Beautiful. We got, uh, who is it now? Donuts versus Verdo. <laughs> well, that bishop's in trouble. After rook, oh, he went that way. He went rook a7. But do you know that rook h8, rook a8 is bye-bye uh, bishop? The bishop is gone. Rook. Oh, he's taken the pawn off. Oh, there we go. Now we go rook. Now we go rook c8. Rook c8. Rook h8, and Bob's your uncle. Even knight takes f6. I mean, white's got an abundance. There we go. Bye bye, rook. Bye. Bye bye, bishop. Push the pawn. He's going to push the pawn. Push the pawn. Run, my little pawn. Run. And that is all but she wrote. Yes. Ah, oh, never mind. <laughs> yeah, I lost it, though. Yeah. Two moves. Yeah, Rick. How? Before it goes rook d4. Good night, this. Can't, can't be drawn. How is this drawn? I know how it's drawn. Rook f4. Rook f4. Take my rook. I double dare you. <laughs> there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Stalemates in the worst possible way. Holy smokes! And you just hunt, you just hunt the king. You just hunt the king with the rook. You rook as soon as he takes it. <laughs> yeah, I think most good players are good. Well, the, the, the junior is perfect. Yeah, no, no worries. All right, let's, there's still two games going in the first round. Yeah, they're six three ahead. Wow. All right, let's go to part the but oh, what's happened here? Blacks and well, black can hold this for a draw. Definitely, I'm on uh, the page on sixty four. Oh my gosh, King F3. If he goes Rook G5, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You got, you can't do it. You can't do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, he's got to watch out for Rook G4 check because he loses his other pawn. But it'll be two pawns versus the rooks, and the, the rook can hold against those two pawns. Oh, okay. So King must go to F3, surely. King F3. Oh, he went back. Why would he go back? Oh, because he had that check. That's why. That was mates. No, it wasn't. King G2. Okay. All, all's even. Lots of pawn moves. Lots of rook moves.
and have the split pawns. So this is a tough one. Then it changes. Yeah, as soon as the board moves, it's over. This this could be drawn. <laughs> the other one would be Jerry McGrath. This is dead as a doornail. Sure, this is a very tight squeeze here. Okay, but this 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 is drawn now. This is drawn, believe it or not. Yeah, two pawns in a rook versus a rook is a draw. In the in, in the in the in the G it, it had to be an F and G pawn, not a G and H pawn. I didn't say it was an easy draw. <laughs> but it is it is supposed it is supposed to be a draw. He needs to his rook needed to be on the eight on the A file and check from the from, No White's got this. No no White's got this. I'll just push the pawn all the way to, you know, h6. Yeah. You know, I don't know about that. See, the problem is... No, no, that when you get the pawn to h, if you get the pawn to h6, you can always hide your king behind the pawn. But he's making him work. This is making him work. So funny enough, with the pawns on h7 and g6, it's still a draw. <laughs> oh, with, with Rick f4. Oh, yeah, that was brilliant. It would have been lovely if, if he had seen it. If he had seen it, it would have been brilliant. Yeah, now king h7, yeah. You see how the rook will keep the king occupied, which is why the, 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 it, doesn't, it doesn't work. The pawn needed to be... A... Yeah, that's, that doesn't work. Just, no, not there, man. Anyway, but there. Oh, King H7. Oh, he's going to go this. I would go King H. I would have gone King H7. 
I wouldn't check the king again. I'll play rook a8. a1. Rook a1. Definitely rook a1. No, you're going to allow his king to come closer. Because if the king gets to f7 and the rook gets to f6, then he's, then he's a bit toast. Yeah, you see, this is the problem now. And now mate is imminent. He's going to play rook f1. He's going to play rook f1. He doesn't have a choice. And then rook f8. Yeah. And then h8. H7, H7, H7 loses or draws to rook F, F6. <laughs> you take it to draw again. <laughs> it's, 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 the, it's, it's the theme tonight. <laughs> He's going to play rook A8. He doesn't have a choice here. Yeah, rook A8. You've got to keep checking the king from the long diagonal. I'll play rook f, uh, yeah, play rook f8 check. That's fine now, rook a8. Oh, wow. Okay, so that uh, Amaranth would, like you said, uh, Greek, what? Giri McGrath was the draw, like you pointed out. This is a very interesting game. Oh, he's, he's cutting it fine. Rook f8. There must be a perpetual. <laughs> All right, now rook a8. As soon as you get rook a8, it's it's good to be. Oof. Well, king h7 now. Yeah, that's that's good. Then rook rook a8. Got to play rook a8. Yep. Yeah. No, he's gonna he's gonna try and get his king closer. Yeah, now you're gonna play now you're gonna play rook h rook h. Yeah. Stalemate. <laughs> Ah, oh, he stuffed it up. He played the rook too many times. Ah, oh, he loses now. Ah, oh, that's a pity. Ah, oh, that's a pity. All right, six and a half, five and a half. The match is on. Shall we go to the bottom board? Yes. Okay, that's it. All right. Ripple versus gold feet. Oh, I think white's in trouble here. Black's in trouble. Queen h7. Queen h7, queen g6. It's not enough. It's not enough because you can just go up and down. Yeah, you can win the exchange. But queen h7 has got to be the move. I can't see gold feet not playing queen h7 here. But I would go queen h7, queen g6. If he goes back, queen h7, then bishop g6. Just because, just because I want. Uh... Oh, the fight is real. Who brought in the other points? Oh, Pura Cat came in. Pura Cat came in. Oh, the fight is real. Six and a half. Petswood had a three point lead, dropped three points, and now it's all even Stevens. And all their big hitters have gone.
<laughs> working hard for it. Working hard for it. <laughs> Well, Ed Walton brought them two points. Oh, yeah, there we go. Queen H7 is in. Oh, he's, he's, gone, he's gone for Bishop, Bishop straight away. Okay. Yeah, this, this should go to Goldfleet. He should get this because now it all depends where if he takes with the king or the rook. He should take with the rook. Should take with the rook. Oh, you know what's nasty? You know, yeah, well, you can't take with the king. Rook takes pawn and you're all sorts. Oh, oh, queen f2. Oh, queen f2. But okay, but that's not enough. That's trouble. Queen f2 is trouble because now if he takes, then you've got knight takes e5. And you've got queen takes g7. Oh, this is falling apart and quickly. Rook takes, it must be rook takes, uh, rook takes uh, e6 straight away. It's got to be played. And the g7 pawn is hanging. The king is as safe as houses, to be honest. The king is as safe as houses. Black's king is in a world of trouble. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Can we elaborate? Two double pawns, right? Let's get it right. Two double pawns. <laughs> Who said double pawns weren't strong? Go double pawns! <laughs> I think he's, he's trying... I think he's trying to figure out... Oh, but he can't play king f7. Because if queen queen takes queen g6, king h8, knight takes pawn. And this oh he's gone for knight takes pawn straight away. Now that's interesting. That's very interesting. I like it. Not a fan of it. I like it. But black is in a world of pain here. I, I liked Rook, to, Rook takes e6. Rook f5. No, uh, Rook f5. Yeah, but Rook takes Rook takes e6 is always going to be, be a problem. And then Queen can go to g6, and then your mate threats are all gone. Man, oh man, if the queen if the queen can swing to the black squares, which is quite covered by black actually. But I think Rook ooh, oh he went Oh that's that's just cheeky. That's just cheeky. Play the knight there. So that you can play check. Oh oh here we go. Here we go. Is there perpetual here? Is there perpetual here? They could be queen h5 is queen h4, queen d4. This looks ominous. Where do you hide? You. Oh, I don't know. This is. This is a feisty. Feisty idea, to be honest. Ooh, I don't know about blocking it. Oh, that's that's a clever way to block it. That's a clever way to block because even if you go check, my king goes to h3. You can't go f5 check. <laughs> that's very clever, actually. 
Who brought in the points? They must stop doing that. Oh. Beer and Nuts took out Will Baldwell on the bottom boards. It worked out the way that. Okay, let's go to Venna. Yeah. <laughs> Dead boring. <laughs> um, I'm just looking to see. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Jeez. Bo How are you stopping all those pawns? Okay, so knight takes pawn. So it's white's move. That, that's, let's start there. It's white's move. White must be winning this, but why isn't he? <laughs> yes, I, th I thought, I thought, I thought, oh yeah, but I was worried about this check. So king there. All right, now we queen. We have to queen. You don't have a choice. You must queen. You, you don't have a choice here. I don't know if Black's winning now. That's the that's the million dollar question. Okay. So let's play Queen C eight. I like Queen C eight. Oh, you got to watch out for mate here. So you've got to go for checks first. Oh, the king can go to b4. King's got b4 as an escape square. Where do we go? Where do you go to, my lovely? Well, we know. Queen d8 is key here. Okay, gold, yeah, we said Goldfeet was winning, so Goldfeet won that one, yeah. Now you've got to play queen. You've got to play queen to, I want to say, f8. I want to say f8. Yeah, queen f, ooh. Oh, that's that's a nice move. Queen there check is beautiful. Yeah, but uh, oh, you can play queen b king b four anyway. That's why I didn't like that move initially. The king goes to b four. I think he's hoping for rook c six here. But rook c six will lose. So now what do you do? How do you how do you play this? Do you play rook takes h7 now? Yep, rook h7. Rook h7. I wish <laughs> Oh, he's missed it. He's missed it. Queen takes f4 and he's safe. Queen takes c4 and he was safe, actually. Queen takes c4 and he's threatening mate. He's missed it. Yeah, the queen was on c7. If he takes the pawn on c4, check, check, check. The king runs for days. Oh, does he run, though? Or is rook d8 mate? Rook d1 mate. Maybe rook d1 was mate. Hold on. Rook b1, king b2. Rook b7, king. Oh, I can't go to. Yeah, okay. So queen c4 was a poison pawn. Okay, fair enough. Happy, happy to acknowledge that that was a poison pawn. Queen h7. This is this is one of those positions where you, you're black and you're like, I'm almost there. I'm almost there. But you cannot 
find the blow. Hold on. Doesn't knight h4, knight c5, king a3? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so knight a4, knight c5, king c c3. <laughs> okay, but now doesn't king doesn't king c3 end the game? King c3 ends the game. Yeah, king c3 ends the game. I can't see what you're going to do about king c3. Yep. Because even if you take the knight, it's mate on b1. You can't get away. And king d1 doesn't help you because of b1 and b2. Amazing how black's king is protected by his pawns and he's standing in front of them. <laughs> Because that'll make it eight and a half, eight and a half with one, two, three. One, two, three, four. There's four games. Black one. Okay, so let's go to let's go to put sixty-four. John sixty-four. Oh wow, this 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 is this is this you can see was a pressure game, right? Knows he needs to win, and everything is tight. You can see it by by this already. I just want to check. So, oh, we, we we've we've got. Why is is Verna still playing? Oh. Yeah. So Ver, I'm just checking Verno. Verno. Bought two. Board two looks. Board eight. Let's have a look. Yeah. So. Board eight. Yeah. Why should. Yeah. It's going to be this game. John is the game. Because board two should go to Pittsburgh and Orpington. Board eight should go to. Um, to Dundee. That'll make it nine and a half. Nine and a half. Which makes this game the ultimate game. <laughs> I did. I did say it was going to be a close one, didn't I? <laughs> so here we go. So knight f four. <sighs> I thought you said Dundee did better than Petsford in the Summer League when you started. That's right. Peter's going to go digging his archives quickly. <laughs> oh, oh, we've just had a rucksack. We've got a rucksack, ladies and gentlemen. But is it enough? This is the question. Is it enough? Oh, oh. Here we go. Queen h4 coming in, looking at bishop h3 with queen g4. And, oh, going down. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> f3. Cheers. You're not bringing the, you're not bringing your queen to g4. All right. All right. All right. All right. The queen can't go anywhere. So was that an untimely sack by Beast from the Southeast? Definitely looks that way. And I'm predicting that White's going to go Queen F2, Queen G3 to swap Queens. He's definitely not sticking around to figure out what's going on here. But he does have Queen F4. Black does have Queen F4. Yep, there's Queen F4. Yep, Queen F2, as expected. Bishop H6, maybe? 
bishop to Oh, bishop to d5 is interesting. Bishop d5 for black. So maybe it wasn't an untimely sack. Bees from the southeast putting the pressure on. Yeah, I think bishop, there we go. Bishop d5. White in under a lot of pressure now. I think you got to play king h1 here, mate. I think king h1 is your move. Wow. Rook c2. Hmm. Rook c2. Wow. What do you play here? Do you play rook a7 with the idea of c5 and b4? Can't play queen g4 check yet. Can't play rook f8. Maybe you can play rook f8. Yep, rook f8. Don't think rook f8 is correct, but king, I think king, king h1 here. King h1 and then rook g1. And I think we're okay. I think white will be okay. King h1, rook g1. I think white will be okay. It's nine and a half, nine and a half, Peter. <laughs> I did say that this was going to be the decider, and it's definitely living up to the decider. Ooh. Why? Why would you do that? Your rook's not doing anything on d, on e2. And time is now playing a role. 50 seconds versus 4 minutes. And we've seen this. You, Yeah, but remember, he's now pushing for the win here. So with the win being pushed, he's going to use up the time to find the winning moves. And I don't think the 30 seconds is going to be enough to find it. You have to play you have to play King H1. No choice here. Yep. And I think he's gonna play rook f4, but rook g1 and and we're okay here. Which is why I wanted to play King G1 and a uh, King H1 and Rook G1 earlier. Not to give him the time to bring his queen to g4. But here we go. Time is marching. He's looking hard for the move. Oh, you, yep. Rook f4. Right. Now we've got to play rook g1. On his time. Yeah, yeah. 100%. I mean, I would have had rook g1 pre-moved. Quick, quick. Not Richie. Why? Why would you do that? Oh, beautiful! Oh, he's beautiful. Look at this. He's actually going for the dark squared bishop. That's what his plan was. With c five, he's going for the dark squared bishop. With trade, trade. Oh, here we go. This is this is problematic. Queen takes pawn. Bishop takes. Yeah. Oh, wow. Queen to g1. What a move. Takes. King takes. Oh, rook takes. Okay. Rook takes is even better. You've got to play pawn takes. You don't have a choice. You've got to play f takes. Oh, mate! He's walked into mate! Oh! Ho, ho. oh and Dundee sneak it! Well, that's snap, mate. Oh, no. John is going to be kicking himself. Four minutes on the clock, and you play rook takes, forgetting it's defending h2. Well, well done to Dundee.
No, no, earlier, earlier for Rick takes when the queens were on the board. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah earlier, not there. There he had to take pawn takes. That was and and when he played rook, when he when the rook take, he had to play king takes. And the reason for king takes is so that he could take rook takes later. But uh, yeah, I mean, again, Be- Beast in the East was looking for the mate the whole time. It was pressuring for the mate, pressuring for the mate, and you know, yes, he had the time issues. Um. And uh, Chad didn't take advantage of that, unfortunately. But uh, well done to Dundee City for winning the match. Nine and a half, ten and a half. We're going down to the literal wire due to time frame constraints. Going down to the wire. Uh, yeah, I can't think of any games that swung so badly. This was the only game that really swung badly. <laughs> No, it was it was a it was a it was a cracking game. All games were 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 good. Um, yes, yeah, yeah. I mean, we had we had the night sack. I'm I'm surprised I wasn't headhunted by any of the summer leagues to join them. I would have helped them out. <laughs> I said I'm surprised none of the summer teams uh, headhunted me to join them for the league. I would have played for them. Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> it's a it's a sub, it's a subtle hint. It's a subtle hint that when the summer league happens again, that if a team is looking for half decent player, you know, I might be available. <laughs> no, I, I just I just want to play. I want to play. I just want to play some chess. <laughs> and, 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 and 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 make friends while I'm doing it, right? Isn't what chess is about making friends while you do it? Yeah, you know, no, look, I, I, you've got to have some enemies as well, right? Uh, not as bad as Niemann's. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not available for that game. <laughs> I'm not available for that game. Because <laughs> my computer might not last. Because <laughs> if we have if we have day if we have deja vu of what happened there again. I know. And no one no one's apologized. <laughs> Perfect. Hundred percent. And uh we start we what's it the twenty fourth? Fourth or something of September is when the World Chess League launch starts. Okay. And and I can't commentate. I can't commentate games if I have the links and stuff. Peter, I mean, really? Of course. I know. I know. It's 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 such a shocker to even suggest it, right? <laughs> <laughs> when you're around I get it I get it <laughs> uh, is, is is the is the league round spaced over s- several weeks is that how it's working now or No, no, I know the dates for. I know, no, I know the dates for the round. 
I know that. And I'll have... No, I don't know what date exactly every round is, man. I just know when the first round is, because that's the important round, right? That's when I've got to organize my other two teams. But if you want to be very clever, right, then January 11th, 12th for fixture five. You see? <laughs> <laughs> of course, that's what that's what that, that's what I do. I, I make sure. I... <laughs> um, no, no, but I'm saying um, the September, the September twenty first, twenty second, that weekend, right? Are there games that are going to be hosted before then, and are there games going to be hosted after then for round one's games? The reason why I ask is, well, if if they are on a Sunday, so I'm, I'm specifically using Sunday because Saturdays is always hard because of sports and all the other things. But if they're in on a Sunday, we can definitely stream them on the Sunday. See, I'm being nice again. Oh, wonderful. What I, what I type is... Okay. <laughs> well our summer our summer should be starting soon what do we mean now september yeah we're going into september now so yeah so we should have something exciting soon um some heat which would be nice because i'm tired of the cold now <laughs> not your cold not your god <laughs> hundred percent I'm going to go climb into my bed and go sleep. <laughs> I'm going to upload this onto YouTube and onto the Twitch page for you. Absolutely. Because I'm just that nice guy. <laughs> All right, guys. That's the... Uh... Peter loves leagues. Yes, guys. Thank you for joining us. It was a lot of fun. Uh, yes, these videos will be uploaded to YouTube and uh, to the Twitch page. And thanks for joining us yet again. We'll be doing more and more of this, as you've heard, uh, going forward. And uh, hopefully we can have some, some very 